Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so pleased to welcome our next presenter. <coughs> she is a professor of American history at McAllister College. Uh, she's the author of a new book, a uh, photobiography of Abraham Lincoln, Finding Lincoln. Please <laughs> <laughs> welcome for a warm round of applause, Dr. Morgan Jeffries. Thank you for having me. It's not every day that a discovery such as the one documented in my book is happened upon. I'm speaking, of course, of the brand new, previously unseen photographs of President Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> what you may not realize is that not one, but several new photographs have been released in recent months, revealing yet new dimensions of the beloved 16th president. No reason to wait. <laughs> Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the first brand new photograph of President Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Taken shortly after his first election as president, we see here an optimistic monument, perhaps, of the antebellum America that was soon banned. Here, we see the same man three years later. <laughs> As aged the nation, so aged our president. <laughs> Here, another. <laughs> Lincoln in his famous stovetop hat. <laughs> what these photos reveal is a man at war with the South, right? <laughs> but perhaps, bear with me, also a man at war with himself. <laughs> Let's take a look at another photograph. We've made a terrible mistake. What? What is it? It's not Sorry. Abraham Lincoln. It doesn't even look like him. <laughs> then who is that? That's actor Brad Garrett. He's a great Romano. He's on Everybody Loves Me. It's not Abraham Lincoln. They're not even close. <laughs> Wow. 
one that no one believed was true because it couldn't be even possible, but it was. <laughs> Lincoln seconds after being fatally shot in the head by John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> That's John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.